this is the Provoke Brawn, and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize the sound of the Endgame Gear XS TRM and improve the sound quality to get a really good audio capture out of it, eliminate as much background noise as possible and get it sounding fantastic. I'm using the mic now for the voiceover for this video and I'm going to show you various settings that you can change in Windows and things that you can do with the microphone in order to get it sounding better, eliminating background noise and just get a really rich sound out of it. Now this is a fantastic microphone which obviously has a number of great features to it already including the built-in shock mount, the pop filter and other highlights with the RGB lighting and such but there are some things that are hidden away within the settings and other things that you need to change in order to make it sounding good. For example, that little button at the back just above the USB-C port switches on AI noise cancelling, which can block out a lot of noise as standard. But I actually think that that then makes you sound a little bit compressed, and so it's not necessarily the best way to get the best audio out of it. It is, however, a fantastic, really simple way to improve the audio capture quality immediately. Now, one of the things that I would recommend is getting this microphone off of its standard stand, off the desk stand, and onto a boom arm as fast as possible. And to purchase a good quality boom arm that will support it well, and also will help to eliminate some of the knocks and things that you'd have through the desk and into the mic otherwise. I'd recommend the Blue Compass from Blue Microphones or the Rode PSA 1 or the PSA 1 Plus. And in this video, I'm going to show you the setup for that. It is an additional purchase, but getting a microphone on a boom arm and getting it close to your face means that you can do certain things to it, such as turning the gain down and adjusting the quality by getting it closer to your mouth. This is a cardioid pickup pattern microphone, which means you need to speak into the front of the mic. So where the Endgame Gear logo is, you need to speak into the top of that and, and towards it. And the closer you get it to your mouth, the better sounding it is because you can then eliminate a lot of the noise and just get the sound sounding really good. Now you can see it here mounted on the Rode PSA 1 Plus. And the thing I found is that this is then going to require a little bit of tweaking because you know, I need to be able to talk into the front of the microphone, but actually where I've got my mic arm is off to the side, which means that I'd sort of be talking into the side of it. However, you can remove the loops from the shock mount, so you can actually take them off with relative ease, and then you can just turn the mic around. So you can turn it and position it into a better place so that you can then talk nicely into the front of it and capture much better sound that way. So this is a simple adjustment. Basically, they just hook over the very edges, so they're really easy to just remove and then turn. And then you can obviously then adjust the mic arm and position it properly so that you can get a better capture quality out of it. And this is well worth doing and a mic arm is well worth investing in because it gets the mic away from your keyboard and from other noise which might get picked up by the microphone. And although, yes, you could turn on the AI noise cancelling, this would be a better way of doing it because then you're eliminating that without having to worry about it so you're actually making it a lot easier for the entire system. The next thing to do once you've got it onto that is to use this dial at the bottom. So you need to adjust the dial so that it goes as low as possible. So turn that dial all the way to the left as far as you can and then adjust it so that it can pick up your voice at the levels you're going to be talking at. Obviously, if you're whispering, it's going to have trouble hearing that. You might need to turn it up a little bit. But if you're really loud, you'll probably find that you don't need to have it up very high. You don't want to turn this all the way to the right because that will have a gain that's far too high. We're going to play around with that. We're also going to play around with the AI noise cancellation. So the button there at the back, you can flick that on and turn it on and off. Also, what you want to do is to plug in a 3.5 mil headset so that you can monitor the microphone. You've got to hear what the mic is picking up so you can hear in your ears what the mic's picking up in terms of background noise and also your own voice. This makes it a lot easier to monitor the microphone sounds and to ensure that you're capturing what you want to, but also a lot easier to work out whether you need to eliminate things or not. We're then going to go into Windows settings and we're going to tweak some things and I'm going to show you how to work out whether you've got it set to the right levels and to improve the quality there. So the first thing you can do is you can play around with the AI noise cancellation. Now this is a great plug and play microphone so it doesn't require any software. You have the hardware button at the back to turn the AI noise cancellation on. And I'm going to do that now just to show you the difference. And what you'll hear is there's now a bit of compression in my voice. I don't think it sounds as nice. But what I've found is that it does eliminate background noise more easily. So if your room is particularly noisy from passing cars, the noise of fans and other things, then you can just flick that button on and it will eliminate a lot of that sound. And it's really good in that way. Fantastic. I'm going to turn it off briefly, though, and I'll tell you why in a second. So... What I want to show is Windows sound settings. So some of the first things you should do with your microphone when you get out of the box is go into the Windows sound settings 
we need to make sure that both headphones and microphone are set as the end game gear XSTRM. We're going to then tweak some of those settings by going down to the more sound settings. Clicking on that, that'll open up your sound playback section, and obviously we can then go into the headphone settings. So this is where you get your headphone sound levels in, and this is one of the first things to do. As standard, when you've got 3.5 mil headset plugged in, this is marked as do not use, so you will not hear yourself. So you will not be able to mic monitor your audio. So you need to untick that so that they both look the same, and you can adjust the level so you can hear yourself through the microphone. When the AI noise cancellation is turned on, Unfortunately, you can use this, but there is a delay. So you have like an echo in your headphones where you can hear yourself briefly. It's horrible, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like to use the AI noise cancellation. And the standard, you can still hear yourself. So that's one of the first settings to change, one of the things to do. And also, you want to be able to set this as default device. So look for the option to set that as the default communication device. We'll go into the microphone settings now. You go into microphone, and this is really important too. You need to make sure that you go into the advanced level and you set it to two channel, 24 bit, 192,000 hertz studio quality. That's the maximum sample rate that this microphone can capture at. If you put that to the maximum, then you will improve the overall quality of the thing and it'll be a lot better, far superior. The other thing you'll notice is the microphone is currently set to 100% in Windows. So this is the software level gain adjustment. So this is how much it's picking up. It's at maximum 100. And I actually think from my experience in testing, that's the best thing you can do. You can see the same level here. You can see it at 100%. So that's what we want to do. This is where you have two levels. So the dial that I was talking about already on the front of the microphone, you want to adjust that to the left as far as possible, which should minimize the amount of gain at hardware level that you're getting and then you turn it up in Windows so it has maximum on the other end. This gives the best quality sound because it means the microphone is picking you up, but you're minimizing the amount of other noises that it's picking up. The more gain you have turned up, the more of the other noise you'll get, so it won't be as good. So those are important sound things to do in order to adjust the sound quality and to improve that. For this next part, I'm going to use Streamlabs. And we're just going to change the audio. So now I've got the Endgame Gear microphone set as my main audio into the mix, and you can see it down the bottom here. And the reason for that is I want to demonstrate the difference that you can make. And if you want to work out sort of what levels the microphone's picking up, and if you can't hear it, you're not using the mic monitoring or something else, you just want to make sure that it's not picking up background noise. This is a great way of doing it. So use OBS or Streamlabs or XSplit and put your microphone into the mixer. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at the levels on the mixer and see how much is being picked up down there. So if I'm quiet for a minute, you should see very little, if any, movement in this bar. Now if I turn the gain up a little bit, you'll see that it's now picking up those levels and you probably also can hear a little bit of the fan noise in the background and I can hear like birds chirping outside and the wind blowing a little bit. So the idea here is to reduce the gain until basically those levels are non-existent anymore. Turn that wheel down as much as you can, get the microphone as close to you as you can possibly do, and obviously then you can then minimise that amount of other noise that's being picked up by the microphone when you're not talking. This can be problematic sometimes in some environments, so you really need to play around with it to find out whether it will suit your room or not. Obviously some adjustment depending on how much external noise there is, how loud the fans are on your PC, outside noise and other things, also the quality of your mic arm, the quality of your voice, the distance. So you need to tweak these things yourself in order to work it out. So I can't really give you the exact levels, but we just play around with this and you'll find there's a good setting in there for what you can do. There are other things, of course, that you can do here if you want to improve the quality. So you can go in, for example, and you can add in some filters. So you can add filters into here and I'll leave a link in the description to other videos on this, but there are things that you can do with noise suppression. So you can add a noise suppression filter, and that automatically adds some level of noise suppression to it. And also you have the option to do noise gate as well. There's some settings in there that you can tweak and you can play around with. As I said, I'll leave a link in the video description to other videos on this where other people have gone into a lot more depth on this, but you can add these sorts of things in if you're planning on using the microphone for streaming purposes or recording purposes, then these 
are options like software level options of noise cancellation. Obviously you still have the button that you can flick and turn on to in order to eliminate that background noise, but they lead to that leads to some compression. You may find that these noise suppression and noise gate options don't compress your voice as much and so you still retain that quality of voice but eliminate a lot more of the background noise. Now I would previously recommended also things like NVIDIA Broadcast as another option, also Crisp AI in Discord you could use as well. So these are our software level options for AI noise cancellation. I don't think they're necessary with this microphone since you already have the hardware level but those are things to play around with and I'll leave information on those in the description as well. But now you can see we've got it sounding really nice and there's really good quality of sound to it and you can see whether it's picking up noise or not. Hopefully this has been a useful video to you. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Be sure to check out the links in the description for more information. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.